Hello and welcome to another album review. I'm Omnus and today we will cover the second studio album by the legendary rock band Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, yeah, big fan of the band. I just reviewed their first album. And yeah, of course it's fantastic. It's not flawless in my opinion, but it is very like near, near flawless. Uh, I actually forgot to say it was requested by Zach Sharman. Actually, you know, he requested the first three albums. The fourth one I already did, like, it was one of my first ones. The second one that I ever did on this channel, so there we go. Uh, so today we have the second one. Uh, yeah, very, you know, actually a very brief follow-up to the debut one, which was released, I believe, in January or February of 1969, and I believe that uh, Zeppelin 2 was there in October, November or something. Do you, do you even say it like that? Yeah, you know, I, I, I believe I just said it in Dutch, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, we have nine tracks, I believe. My intent is, of course, shit, so I can check it out immediately. I believe we have eight. Six. No, no, nine. There we go. Nine songs. Uh, we have eight on the fourth one, but it's a while ago. Uh, we start out with the classic song, Whole Lot of Love, of course. Uh, pretty much does not, need really, does not really need an introduction. Pretty much the finest opening tune of any Zeppelin album. Arguably even Black Dog on Zeppelin 4. I'm trying to think of a better opening song, but Whole Lot of Love is pretty much like... The, the best one out of all of them. Um, yeah, just fantastic overall. Great blues riffs. I believe they ripped this off from, uh, you know, Moody Waters or, you know, like one other irrelevant band or something. I don't really care. But, you, know, you know, because the thing is that a lot of people hate on Zeppelin or not a lot, but, you know, a minority of people hate on Zeppelin for, you know, not being very original and ripping off other artists. But you know, I just I actually heard like one term saying that um, good composer borrow, great composer steal, and I, you know I think that Zeppelin are one of the greats, and they steal the best. I think you know you don't really need to be original. It is like good to be original. I recommend it, but if you're gonna sound like Zeppelin and steal that much, you know might as well just steal it. You know because it just sounds fantastic. Doesn't really need an introduction, the song just speaks for itself, perfect opening track, and there, there you go. What, is an, what should never be is the second song, and this is a very, uh, very chilling song, I believe. You know, the song goes like... We will don't go, never shouldn't go. Uh, something like that, and then later it go, goes into a very, very... Uh, sp Kind of like haunting kind of tone, very mellow. I really love the sound of the song. It just sounds fantastic in my opinion. It just sounds very like heavy at the beginning and later on it just kind of becomes more of a mellow song. So great diversity to this one. And then we have the Lemon song which is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, just a very fantastic song once again. Uh, yeah, you know, there's one of those other songs that kind of just speaks for itself. It is kind of like one of the early on epics of the of, of Zeppelin's repertoire. Uh, I believe the song is six minutes long, so it was one of their longer songs. Although I think that Days of Confused was a bit longer, but I'm not sure. Absolutely fantastic song. It just kind of, you know, grabs a later particular drum solo song of the, of the record, kind of, you know, compiles that. Kind of compiles the catchiness of whole lot of love, the the haunting tone of what is and what should never be, and the catchy the catchiness of the song. So it kind of you know combines everything that we had so far of the record, and it just kind of makes an ultimate record or something. Just a fantastic song overall. It always was one of, one of my personal favorites, and yeah, it might be one of my top ten Zeppelin songs. I'm not sure though. If it's not on the top 10, it's definitely on the honorable mention though. It's up there, it's up there for sure. Then we have Thank You. Thank You is an absolutely beautiful track. Thank you Led Zeppelin for giving me this track. 
Uh, just a mellowness, you know, it's kind of combines what, what is and what should, should never be, kind of the haunting tone of this record with the catchiness of Hold of the Love. So I really love this track right here, it has some, uh, some organ, I, I believe, you know, John Paul Jones plays some organ on this track. Uh, some very, very chill drums by John Bonham. I believe there's some acoustic in there from Jimmy Page, so just everything about this track is just fantastic. I just love this song. It's just a very chill song to put on, you know, the definitely John Paul Jones shines the brightest on the song. I just love his organ, uh, his organ playing on this track. It's just an eargasm. Then we have Heartbreaker, another catchy track on this, uh, on this album. And I think that this track is even better than what is and what should never be. I, I just think that it's more of a rocking tune. It does kind of have, you know, the, the second side of what is and what should never be. But it has the ro rock and roll style of Hold On Love. I just love this track because it is so raw, rock and roll, in your face, kind of, you know, rocking tune. It's just another fantastic tune on a great album. I, you know, this record really speaks for itself, doesn't it? Fuck no. And this is probably one of my personal favorites. Uh, Living, Loving Maid, She's Just a Woman. I always love the, the, the riffs that were on air. Living, Loving, She's Just a Woman. It's just such a catchy track, honestly. It's kind of like gimmicky in a way, because you know, you have those symbols, uh, symbol crashes by John Bonham, who are kind of like, gimmicky too so this song is kind of funny and let's definitely show here that they can have a kind of like cheeky kind of song you know not every song has to be like a home run out of the park kind of song you know let's definitely shows this song is still great in my opinion but it still shows the um the kind of goofy side of let's happen which i still love and then we have arguably yeah, this is pretty much top 10 material right here, Ramble On, amazing song, I love this song. It is kind of like a thank you, but, but, but with the catchiness of Whole Lot of Love and the rock and roll style of Whole Lot of, Whole Lot of Love. So this track just absolutely, you know, just talks about home runs, this is like an out of the park kind of song. This is just an amazing track, I just love this song, uh, the acoustic guitars at the beginning are great. The vocals by Robert Plant are arguably one of his best on there. The drums by John Bonham are just perfectly in place. They're not like crazy all over the place as in the upcoming song. But they're just very, very perfect. They're on place. You know, they John Bonham just, whenever he needs to feel something, he does it. You know, he, he, you, you you need a you need a right one you get one you need a left one you get one you need like a fast part he, he gives you one so this song is just overall killer it's just an absolutely classic it's a masterpiece it's definitely one of the best together with a whole lot of love lemon song you know thank you just amazing tracks then these last uh, two tracks are very different from rumble on you know we have moby dick which is definitely a very addictive song to listen to you know i tried to drum along to this and it just was fucking crazy i just you know ran out of breath i just felt like i ran a marathon or something it's just an insane drum solo on there arguably one of the best ever although i can't really say that because i haven't really experienced a lot of uh drum solos but this is definitely one of the greatest i've heard so far and I mean, it's a drummer John Bonham. So this track basically speaks for itself. It's just basically four minutes of John Bonham going crazy. It's it's great. I love it. And then we have Bring It On Home. This is just basically the perfect closing track. It is kind of similar to uh, the closing song on the first album. Uh, how, how was the song called again? I, you know, I Can't Quit You Baby? Was that the one? I believe that was the closing song. I'm not sure. Uh, with one of those songs, you know, uh, it, it just perfectly encapsulates everything that this record uh, stands for and everything that we've heard up to, up, to, up to this point, if I can say the fucking word. Uh, great drum solos, very great melodies, very mellow, subtle movements on this track, rock and roll vibe of a whole lot of love, the great length of you know the Lemon song. So this song basically has everything again. It's just basically one of those perfect closing tracks. And for that, I salute it. 
overall this album is just killer it's just absolutely fantastic it's uh, in my opinion mocks the first album out of the park honestly or you know it, it's uh, it beats it easily it's uh, what's the fucking word again not per se destroy it but it's uh, you know this album is a landslide this album wins for me by a landslide compared to the first one, in my opinion. Um, so there we go, Zeppelin 2. It's arguably one of my personal favorite Zeppelin tunes. Tunes, uh, favorite Zeppelin albums, honestly. It's just fantastic, front to back, it's a fantastic album. Great songs on there, great drum solo, great opening track. Great metal song on there, Ramble Long, great yeah, drum solo, Moby Dick, Moby Dick. Um, Thank you, great quiet song, great poppy song. Just everything about this album is just fantastic. This is a 10 out of 10, obviously. So pick it up if you haven't already. This album is a 10 out of 10 for me. Let me know what you think about the second Zeppelin album. I think it's better than the first one. Yeah, so, well, I've heard the third one, but it is a while ago. I'm gonna listen to it now. So let me know if you want me to review or, you know, what's the thing. Uh, let me know what you want me to review in the next episode, it can be any band, it can be any artist for that matter. Well, you can discuss it, not any artist, you can uh, just drop it down in the comments down below if you want, an, if you want me to cover an artist for you. Um, and if so, let me know which artist you know, so we can discuss it. Um, and I will, I'll, and I might accept it. So thank you for watching this video, uh, let me know which is your favorite Zeppelin album, Zeppelin song, do you hate Led Zeppelin, do you love Led Zeppelin? Let me know in the comments down below, uh, I'm a big Zeppelin fan personally, you know, I, I grew up on their music, so there we go. Well, not exactly, but I did discover them at an early age and I've been in love with them ever since, so there we go. Uh, so let me know what you think about this record, I absolutely adore it, but you know, maybe you do not. Or maybe have a different opinion about this. It's still one of my, it's probably my second favorite Zeppelin album. It's up there for sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.